Hello people. Uh, Another uh, Sunday we're out flying again. Ah, beautiful day. Sun's out. Not too windy. Plenty of little clouds. Not very high. It was three and a half at the moment. Don't know where we'll go at the moment. Just cruise around. We're heading that way at the moment. So, we shall see. Right, we took off from here. Went along here. That's what I'm chatting to you now. And we went all the way out. Around here, across the range. Out, around the back. Around down here. Around down this way. Up here, back around the edge of the range. And then back home. Nice day. 266 k's, I think it was. Not particularly fast, but it was fun. And you can see the profile down there of high above ground and other things like that. All good, enjoy the video. So it's slowly getting better. Um, we're trucking out to the west. I don't know if it'll be better over the range or not, but we'll truck out this way and see. Um, it's still not really strong climb, so that quite weak. The last one was 2.3 or something, I think. And before that, like 1.5, so the clouds are fairly short-lived, so they're cycling through fairly quick. Um, so we're just going to head out this way, and we'll see what it's like on the edge of the range here. They seem to just be a bit higher in the tops out this way, but we'll see. I wanted to truck along the range here a bit for a bit, just see what the day does. We'll sort of watch both sides and see how it goes. It's not too bad out here at the moment. Just over the top of some of their spur lines at the moment. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll truck along this way a bit and see, then we'll decide which way we're going to go after that. Oops. A little change of mind there, we got to the top of that cloud and yeah, it looks encouraging to fly over this way, so we'll just speed over. Not in a hurry, but we'll see what these clouds go here. The cloud base just looks a bit higher out here. Mind you, the ground level's higher as well. Well, we're uh, west of Mill, Mill Merrin now. Um, it's not too bad, we're getting about six on the climbs. I was going more to the northwest, but it was sort of following the Condamine, and the Condamine. It's a bit average at the best of times, and it's kind of looking like it was going to do that to me again today. So, going out this way, it's over the scrub, um, the landing options are a little less, um, but it should the land shouldn't be as soggy around here, hopefully. Hopefully, he says touch wood. So we'll just try staying connected to these clouds. It seems weird, you've got to go out one side of the clouds to get left. But that's the day, I guess. Hmm, maybe I turned the wrong way that time. I didn't turn into wind that time, I turned the other way just for something different. And yeah, that wasn't good. Alright, where's it going? There it is. The cores when you're getting them seem to be fairly small and tight. So. Get in them and stay in them. It's not too bad. Don't 
don't really want to get too low on the daylight today. It's, um, it could be a bit touch and go down there. You just disconnect with the power. Up, so. oh, we'll keep cruising. Oh, we turned the little intersection towny thing just back there. Um, this is two o'clock. It's not really pumping. There's a bit of high level cloud out to the west. It's probably coming in this way. So we're trucking. Um, towards the south at the moment. Um, we truck down this way towards Stanport by a bit. Um, then we can start to angle back in towards home again. This is downwind now, we were crosswind before. So it'll just be interesting to see if conditions change or get better or worse or what happens. I mean the clouds are looking pretty pretty awesome down here. Whether they're actually working. It's a whole new ball game. So we shall see. It's all fun. Not a lot of landing options around here, but I think we're okay. We'll try and keep the height. Um, we'll just keep topping up whenever we can to stay safe, I think. Annoying gust things come through like that. They look like we're going to have a good, a good climb and then nothing happens. They are funny clouds today though. I'm sort of going slow, I want to make sure I stay high through here. It's not a particularly pretty countryside to uh, abandon. Nice, we've got a better climb though. Alright, we'll head down to these clouds and see what they're doing. Sort of winding our way back slowly, that's um, Stanford about the side there. That's um, Sundown National Park that way and Gurwin. And then up in front here, probably going to go over to Cherry Bar about. Maybe. Well, Cherry Bar is probably a bit more that one. Just Warwick over that way. Yeah. Keep cruising along here. Clouds are getting smaller that way, but probably taller that way now at the moment. I'm still not getting very high though, but and it's still hard to read where the lift is under them. But we are finding it, so it's mainly. So the general plan at the is sort of heading this way, going from cloud to cloud, where, where we can. Oh, Lifty bump. See, that's a little lift. I mean, when I first came over here, we had a few really good climbs, that, like six to eight knots. But we've had a couple, but the rest of them have been like two knots. I don't think it's my bad climb. Could be. There's a couple of clouds here. I've circumnavigated the whole bottom of them and haven't done anything. This bugger here. Pick that traffic down to South Yankee River Hotel is eight miles to the south of the field, uh, 3,500. Expanded overhead time for uh, that truck and welcome. Pick that. Uh, traffic inbound to um, Stanthorpe. Flight of Foxtrot, Foxtrot's currently 5,500, 15k to the north of Stanthorpe. Everyone, 
climb that one actually had reasonable bit of pace so we're there just coming back up to the north the southern end of the range again at the moment there's looking out the other way um yeah it's now three o'clock so pretty good time so we're just gonna get you back here where have we gone Oops. we are trucking back here to find where the others are or if they've already landed or what's going on and then um, we might do a bit of a ticky toe around we'll see what the conditions are like um, we've had a pretty good flight so far it's been nice to zip across the range have a bit of fun been quite good fun beautiful scenery it's amazing how green everything is today Weekend before last, we came in quite low over here and went down that valley to go home. So, similar sort of thing today, but not as low today. Well, it might be by the time we get there. So, this is the start of the Condamine River down here on the gorge here. Oh, I think it's all start. It flows all the way out there and goes all the way down to South Australia. Which is an awful long way away from here. Well, it's not huge to lift under these, but it's enough to keep us splitting along. I just spoke to Stuart on the phone before and he's uh, halfway to Bay Desert or something. Doesn't sound like it's particularly high up there. Yeah, the interesting thing will be here to see how much breeze there is because we might get a bit rotated by this breeze in that careful. Truck along this cloud for a little bit. See if it gives us some lift. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to dive off down one of the valleys down here. We've seen it down there. Grassy slopes. I didn't get a bit of ridge lift off that, there was a bit of wind there. So we'll track across under this little cloud. And that'll take us out, out over the range again. And 
so the only thing we need to watch. In theory, the wind's coming from that way, so yeah. In the lee of the mountain down here at the moment. So. There's a little bit of lift here. Cruising a bit slow here, no point in going fast, I'll just end up down there. Don't really want to end up down there yet. Just take the time, cruise along. Get Amberley to see if they're active at the moment because the hill's hiding. So once we get round the hill, we can have a little, little look and see. gain a bit of height once we get the other side of here. We're 1500 feet over that bit down there at the moment. should be coming from about that way you reckon. Still can't get out. Might be we're under airspace anyway, so um, airspace is over the other side there but we're lower than the airspace is anyway. So. Dam's looking a bit full of these days. There's Maroon Dam down there. We had a paddle on, sorry, let's move her down. Maroon Dam's there. We had a paddle on Maroon Dam the other day. It's considerably higher than it used to be. We expected with all the rain we've had, I guess.
the hill out in the nose there. Thank you. 